Hi everyone, this is Vicki, and I recently did a video and where I gave, I had a giveaway for this uh, paper napkin project that I did, and so um, the winners, I had two um, kit winners, and I had, um, I think, nine um, others that I sent uh, napkins to. So I finished the kits, and I also had three people who were um, international. So the two napkin winners are, um, I have not sent yet. I will send it out when I send out the one kit uh, that's going international also. So I apologize for the delay on um, some of you people, well, two, <laughs> two, and then the two kits. So, <clears throat> I finished the kits, and I wanted to show those before I send them out, because I know it's going to take a while for them to get them, and I wanted to make this video. So, this is the first kit. This is the... Uh, This is the um, nature one. For the life of me, it is uh, escaping my <laughs> my mind what this is called. Okay, so anyway, this one is going to Sue Haskins, and um, sorry Sue, um, she's been emailing me and about other things, but um, thank you. I I totally forgot to mention that I just um, finished this to you. So, um, it is a file folder. I decided to go with a file folder. It just kind of came to me um, that this would be a good idea so that you could put it into your files if you wanted to and uh, the kit and you can replenish it um, if you like. But um, I thought this was a cute idea. I made a pocket in the front and I did, um, I've made this little um, tag to put in the front, and then she can also um, write on here for the tab when it um, uh, goes into a filing cabinet, if you have one. So first of all, I, I did um, make a little card, and it's, it is a folio little card. So I used a coconut button on here, and... Um, this is what this looks like, like this, and I put a little bit of this um, vintage, uh, kind of a fabric, um, I don't know what they use this for, but this was given to me um, a few years back by um, my friend um, uh, Jill Nor Norwood, and this is what I've done. So I made a little um, pocket here, and I did a little um, tag that folds in half, opens up like this, and then you can put a little note in here. So I made this tag, and I made this little tag also, so you can write on the back. And I did some of the uh, collaging of the napkin, like so. This will go in here, and then on the other side, I have another pocket, vertical pocket. So this is the little tag I made for here. And so this is um, what this looks like with a little stamping. I did the vintage stamp that I found at a little um, uh, uh, vintage um, store. So that's what that looks like. And then on the back, I stitch this on here and it closes like this. So there you go. Then I made another little tag. And I used Distress Oxides on the edges just, you know, collaged with the napkins. And so that is here. 
I'm sending off a little um, a page of that music sheet I got from the from one of the vintage markets. I got a big booklet, and so I'm sending that off also, and put it in the front pocket. So that's what that looks like. So this is all sewn. The folder is sewn all the way around. And when you open, oh, and it's tied with this. Um, this is a leather thread. Um, uh, let's see, I think I got this at Hobby Lobby. So that's, this is what I use to um, bind it together. And it looks like this when you open it. It's blank on this left side. And then I collaged in the front with the embossing on there. And then when you open it, these are the papers. There's the napkins. And I've collaged it in the inside of the folder and then I put just napkins on the right side and on the left side. These are the um, things to make it with. The cards included the cards so you just have to fold it in half. The cards are back here. Um, various cards and then I've cut them to size of the envelope. And also the liners are in the front. And you just fold them in half and place them in the card. So, so the, the collages are on the sides of the inside of the envelope. I binded it with um, this thick tape that I had, and um, because these are this is paper uh, cardstock. And then I did um, sew this together with another piece. And this is my stitching for the um, binding. And you can see it. I did this center and the side stitch. And then, um, so these two pieces are two pieces of paper, cardstock. Uh, I think they're 65 pounds. And then... This is um, uh, taped together, and then I uh, put the outer binding on each side and sewed it together. So this is all sewn together, as you can see. And then on the back side is the embellishments for the... Um, embellishments f for the um, card. So there's some buttons. There's some little uh, hearts and some darker buttons. And then I have all these have shifted. <laughs> but these are ribbons. Seam binding and twines. Like so, and a little um, gauze. And then I have some in my stash. From my stash, I have these little trinkets, and brads, a little key, there's a little butterfly clip. And there's another little thing in the back there. Another little trinket. You can see, um, let me put this back on here. Let me get this little thing out here. It's just another trinket that's kind of stuck in here. Let's get a tweezer. Oh, here it is. I thought that would go also with a little card. And we'll put a little um, twine on here and hang it on the card. 
and so that's what that looks like. Oh, and this is a little bit of um, a faux suede that will go in here as well. So, that's what that looks like. And then the back is just plain. So it slides easily into the um, file folder or the file cabinet. That was the first one that I made. And then I will show you the second one. So that was the botanical, which I couldn't remember the name of that. <laughs> and then this one is the vintage. And so this will go to Jeanette. And let me, it's such a big, um, well, it's a file folder, so it's a larger, and it's hard for me to film. But um, I did do a little book plate at the top. It's a Spellbinders. And I just did a little watercolor on the leaves and put a little um, flowers here in the center. And it says, you know, this is the paper napkin card kit. And then I made a card. And uh, this is the seam binding closure. Made it pretty much the same. So for the cover has um, cellophane stitched on the front so that the card shows through. And let me show you this, this folder, this kit. You just open this up with the seam binding. Okay. This is the, this is the, uh, it's a leather cording in pink that I binded it with. And then these, this is the envelope. This is the back. I just dressed it with oxide um, ink. And then just put the uh, typewriter uh, on a uh, stamped onto um, some tracing paper and then I just pasted that on the card so it looks similar to the napkin and so this is uh, goes into this the cellophane and that's sewn on here and then this is um, some lace, vintage lace. I have my stash and um, this is the card. And she liked the vintage so I made a card for her using a bossing folder. And then this is the back of the card and it goes right into the um, print like that and then when you open it on the left side I just made a little pocket with an envelope using the napkins a little uh, thread a little a flower for my stash and then put the music sheet in in here folded music sheet that she can use and then on this side I did do a little uh, embossing on some cardstock stitched it and uh, put a little bit of the napkin in the front and with a little vintage lace here. 
under under the little um, cardstock. And inside we've got the, the papers, same, and the liners, and we've got the envelopes. And on the bottom of the uh, folder I've stitched this cardstock onto the cardstock same way. Put some uh, of the napkin on the bottom. And then on this side are the napkins. And then I just did a little bit of, uh, I think this is the lace and some cheesecloth and a little um, washi tape. I put there and uh, for the embellishments I will raise this up show you the embellishment so I've got at the very bottom this is just a paper clip it's a kit that um, I think not a kit but a card with these different things that I've had in my stash and so I included those a little. Um, these are um, clothes, I think they're pins, laundry pins, and some vintage buttons, some hearts. Um, these are, this is a vintage, let's see, this goes on the other side. Got stuck on here. Okay, this is a vintage um, cards that I recently got at a vintage, vintage market. I included those, and then some twines, and vintage ribbons, and um, of course this little piece that I have to take off from the, <laughs> got stuck on this heart that was over on this side. Okay. So over here, I did the back cover with the napkin. I did a, a pocket of um, with the lavender napkin, and then I have a little, also a, li a little um, sachet that I made for uh, Jeanette. And I put it in this little pocket. I also included these little things that I had in my stash. Hearts. And I just put that in there. So that's the, um, that's the vintage. That's the vintage, um, folder kit that I made. And, um, So I'm finally finished with these, and this will go out in the mail soon. Um, and I hope you enjoyed my little kit, my first kit I made, which um, I really enjoyed making it. It was very, um, it was very nice, a fun process of thinking of how I was going to make this kit, either a box or. But I like this idea of a file folder, and. Um, giving it as a gift and I hope you enjoyed that and I will talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.